Hello, welcome back to Digimon World 3, where we ask ourselves, Digimon, they are digital monsters, but are they the champions? Are they Digimon or are they champions? Or potentially both. They are probably, probably both, but we will ask ourselves these questions as we continue on our journey. It's nice to be back. Back to Digimon World 3. I was desperately running out of uh, my my nice little buffer of, of videos I had recorded. And so, really, uh, really rushing to get something out. We can't, we can't let the Digimon... We need our daily Digimon World 3 content. God damn it. And trying to remember it's been a little bit not not for uh not for those consuming oh, seeing the videos come out every day but for me a little bit of a break and uh trying to remember where we are some things happened specifically we and we saw the game master being part of some sort of larger plan. Um, I don't think we got the full details on, on what that plan is. I think we need to get to Amaterasu server or something like that. A whole new server awaits, I guess. Right now, what server are we on? Is Asuka the server name? So the server is named after the city. Usually in, in MMOs, the server is just which which players you can encounter. And sometimes there's slightly different rules, like whether PvP is allowed or not. But uh, I don't know. We'll see what it really means in this world. Once we figure out how to get there. So we need the we need to get to North Sector, and that's why we need to get to Amaterasu server. Teddy, I think Teddy told us. Uh, I guess we aren't in North Sector. So we need to find a way to get to Amaterasu server. So we can get the digi egg of knowledge. Maybe uh, I will check just to make sure we really got the information we need. I don't see don't see anyone here. Let's see if they have anything new to say. If the AOA was behind the malfunction. Then what was all that talk about Lucky Mouse? But I wonder what the AOA was planning. I just don't think this is over yet. Not a whole lot from these folks. These fine folks who inhabit. I guess they're. Are they NPCs? Are we the only player? Who knows? It's an MMO, but where are all the players? Who are the players? Who are the non players? It's all AOA's fault, but I'm sure Tomomi will understand. Ah, uh, yes. Tomomi. Well, apparently, where we need to go is Byako City. Where is that? All the way back over there, so... Let's be on our way. Oh, but before that, we have some some very, very sick Digimon. They really gave us a run for our money uh, fighting fighting uh, the Game Master, was it? Uh, it was 
pretty close there. And it was mostly because they didn't give us an opportunity to rest and heal. Oh yes! And I might be sounding a little bit different today because the mic, the mic repositioning saga continues as along with our Digimon World 3 saga. I always have to say, you can't just say Digimon Online or Digimon World. You have to say the full name every time. But anyway, we're right back where, where we started. I'd experimented with having it below and sticking up, but that's, that's, this mic isn't really meant to be positioned like that. I've seen, I've seen some people do that, but maybe they had a slightly different model, but, uh, it's not, it's not meant to really be put like that. It's gotta be straight right in front of my face, pointing straight at me, straight in front of my mouth. And I think that is where it sounds best. You get the, the close up sound that I so desperately want to achieve. You get the bass and importantly, and this is what prompted me to reconsider it, less popping. Cause uh, well, you know what? I don't need to get into the technical details of the microphone, but just something to talk about as we as we make our way back. Now, I think this is going to be the way to go. Anyway, it sounds different. Uh, I think it sounds better and much, much less popping. Very important. It was, it was getting very bad. It was very dire. And unfortunately, I, I edited all the videos in a batch. I can talk about behind the curtain stuff because there's nothing going on that we haven't already seen. If this was a true let's play, then I would probably... I don't know. Would I, would I fast forward through this or just simply skip traveling? But no, we're, we're here to, to experience the game as you would experience it playing it. A little bit of cheating here and there. Now we have Kukimon. I don't think that's who we want to be using. I think uh, we probably want Little Greymon. And oh man, it's not just the videos that I fell behind on. It's it's the it's the comments. I've gotten such helpful comments, and I'm not fully caught up to all of them. So I I apologize for that, but. It's just so hard to find the time. My daily schedule. I don't always... Don't always have packed weekends, but that's just how it's been. So we need to make our way back to Biako City. Find our way through this... This mess. We Yes, we could train at uh, the cactus, the cactus's gym, whose the name of that mon escapes me. But it's a classic Digimon adventure, Digimon. Oh yes, and, and where are we? Yeah, we'll go through the oasis. And not just, not just that, but I, I still, still want to start one of my pendulum colors and, and record it. But that's going to take some even more time.
But I've said some of that stuff before, so... Let's find... Let's find Biako City. been a while. I feel that if we go in the direction implied on the world map, we should probably get get to Biako City. Indeed. Last time we were here, it was in some sort of... It was taken over. But it looks like things are back to normal. And hey, a new item shop, weapon shop, etc. Armory. That's what we're calling it. I'm gonna guess that what is sold here is not going to be better for us whatsoever. Indeed. We are pretty much fully kitted out on Kodemon. There's some room for situational adjustments using accessories. Still no MP recovery except this life plug, which is exorbitantly expensive. Yep. Yeah. Hey, why don't we pick up a few of these life discs? In case we need them during a troublesome battle. If the AOA comes again, I'll fight too! So I'm gonna train my Digimon from now on. Energetic Ryan is on our side. Who is this? I'm glad Biako City is back. I don't want to run around the desert again. Ah uh, yes. Did we did we already visit Piximon and make sure that we have the Digivolves that we want? Yes. I shall consult our handy chart here that you're not seeing. I should I should uh get a better setup so that I can No, I th th I think that would get distracting if I show you what I'm looking at. So, who do we want to spend time on? I've been thinking Skull uh Metal Greymon. We should get War Greymon when Metal Greymon hits level 99. Spoiler alert. And what if we focus on Skull Greymon? Level 99 gives us Black War Greymon. Very cool. So, Black War Greymon or War Greymon? That's the question. Well. And also, who's stronger? They're, uh. They're side grades, it looks like. Metal Greymon versus Skull Greymon. But then, War Greymon versus Black War Greymon. Who's cooler? Well, we're closer to. War Greymon. So, I think we'll stick with Metal Greymon for now. And uh, we're not going to get anywhere with um, XVMon. Uh, the requirements are a little bit beyond us currently. So let's let's uh, swap in Skull Raymon just in case, just in case we want to try that out. See how he looks. 
Well, let's head to the Biako Tower. Can. The Biako Dome. Oh, I forgot all the voices I was doing. Hey, kid. Look, we got Biako City back. With Lisa's plan and my skills, this was a piece of cake. You defeated Asuka's Game Master. Thank you. Because of you, Leader's plan was a success. Man, I almost helped them. They kidnapped good tamers. And we're going to make them train Digimon for warfare. Oh. We can't have that. Digimon used for fighting? So unethical. Uh, okay. These people don't appear to have anything for us. Let's get to the top. Where we were tricked last time. Oh, it's you. We fought and took the city back. Are you looking for a way to go to Amaterasu? I don't know, but you should go to the underground cave. I don't know? What a weird thing to say. We locked everyone from the AOA down there. Wow. Is that possibly a war crime? You can't just lock people up indefinitely. Even if they're bad. I guess they're just gonna be there forever. So, how do we get there? There was a ledge we could jump off. Look at that nice little falling sand animation. That reminds me of the falling sand game or powder toy. It was this little physics simulation where there were different materials that you could that that would fall from from the top and you you could add materials like stone and all the materials had different it, it was all particle based and all the materials had different interactions. It was quite fun. We've got exploding sand. There's, there's sand flowing through these pipes. They're sand pipes. Wouldn't that generate a lot of static? I guess it depends on the material of the pipes. Oh no, we do not want to open a booster. Underground cave. This is where they're being held, perhaps? The AOA members are in here. They don't have Digimon, but be careful. We won't let them get away. If anything happens, yell. Oh, really? They they won't just grab me and take me hostage and use me as a bargaining tool to release someone? Yeah, it's perfectly safe. AOA is forever. Don't think you've won. We'll win in the end. I hope. We beat every single one of these dreadfully repetitive and tedious enemies. Hmm? Who are you? You're that kid we caught last time. What do you want? Did you come here to be captured again? No way. I came here to ask how you got to this server. <laughs> if you want to know, I'll tell you. The transportation Digimon the AoE created. We came here from Amaterasu to this server by Bulbmon. Bulbmon? Yes, a great Digimon that can move between servers. Unfortunately, it acted weird when we arrived here. Acting weird? What does that mean? Lucky Mouse erected a protective field. So our Bulbmon broke down and threw us out. That's why we quickly attacked Byako City. Hey, wait a sec. Then where's Bulbmon? I have no idea. 
I'm sure it's digging some more dimensional holes. Then I guess I should look for Bulbmon. Hey, wait. I think I've seen Bulbmon somewhere before. Junior's little brain is working as hard as it possibly can. It's working at 120% uh, resource utilization. He can't, can he remember when we were attacked by Bulbmon on our first trip over? I believe that was... The dock? Yeah, that was, uh... There was, like, a station. South Station? The gondola stations. Yes, that was it. Oh, so now how do we get there? We don't have a mount. We can simply fly everywhere, like... Like you would in a... Any... Any sane MMO. So we probably want to go through South Badland. Not through the Pelch Oasis. Anything we need before we head out? No. South Badlands? Yes. Not Badlands. Bad land. Just the one. And we're gonna be we're gonna be Metal Greymon for a while. Until we hit 99. Skill level 99, which is going to happen before Kodemon hits base level 99. It kind of it kind of sucks how how interchangeable the Digimon are. But that it seems like that happens a lot with I don't know how do you how do you incentivize actually building a team of creatures in any creature collecting game this isn't really a creature collecting game there's basically only seven or is it six Digimon that you can get and then they can all turn into basically any Digimon once you're fully leveled once you meet all the requirements. But I don't think it's... It's, uh... It's good that... The winning strategy is to dump everything into a single Digimon. It's kind of boring. This game has other things going for it. But... Sometimes can get a little... Leave something to be desired. So, are we where we want to be? South Cape? And then we need to go through all the way, all the way over to Bolt Swamp. Oh joy. Should probably save before something horrible happens. Got a green Woodmon. You'd think that if Woodmon is named Woodmon that you would just be kind
kind of wood colored. Maybe it's a palette swap. To indicate that he has different stats. Did I take a wrong turn? No, I think this is just a weird area. This music really reminds me of Final Fantasy VII. The original, not the remake. The area kind of does too. Ah uh, yes. It's that piano sound that sounds really familiar. Wow. Phantom Mon is uh, really giving us a run for our money. Um, if we want to guarantee that we won't... Oh, running is rolling the dice. Wow, something interesting happened. Nope. Uh... Oh. Okay. I wasn't sure how Renamon knew who to use the life disc on. Oh, we didn't get a chance to digivolve. Well, that's okay. Oh my goodness. So strong. Wow, what happened? How did we get so, so destroyed by a random encounter? I guess the, the enemy's got a level up. So we need to heal. Or it was just an extremely bad matchup for us. Maybe, maybe we have, we can't use Metal Greymon here. Well, let's do this. I won't I won't do those battles on, on autopilot so much. And if we have to, we'll switch back to Kukimon. They man it just as I was talking about. About boringness. Okay, Geckomon, surely. Surely he's not much of a challenge. No, he's not. It's so funny. Maybe we were hit by some sort of debuff and I missed it. Almost to the bulk swamp. Here we go. That was a big earthquake. I hope nothing happened to Suzuku City. Oh. Earthquakes, huh? Could this be signs of Bulbmon? Bulbmon? Are we headed towards Suzuku? No, we have to go back. <laughs> wow, that's, uh... That's really funny. So you have to talk to this guy. Probably. Before you can actually... Trigger the... If that's really the case, you have to talk to this one specific NPC who's just standing somewhere. 
in order to advance the story. That would just be so infuriating. Ah, Tordomon. This could be... This could be challenging. Let's try our strongest attack. Not so good. Not, not at all. Um, tell you what. Bring out the heavy hitters. And this is why we don't digivolve during battle, because, wow, that, that animation. Yay, so we can defeat them with Kukimon, no problem. And we get a little bit of XP. Phoenix Bay. That, that, I always forget the names of the air. That was the one with all the numbers on the ground, right? So we just go back the way we came, I guess. I don't feel that the level of challenge of those new Digimon we've been encountering, the, the amount of reward we get from them, is equivalent to their level of difficulty. They really, uh, you really run into a kind of risk versus reward curve in this game. Huh? Tremors! What what's going on? Average day in the Pacific Northwest. I don't think anything's going on. It's fine. Everything was seismically retrofitted. They they built they build their towns to be strong. I think we need to talk to Patamon. Oh, you're looking for leader? She's not here. She went somewhere after the earthquake. Somewhere? Where's that? Um, I don't know, but I heard a weird sound from the jungle. Weird sound? Yeah, a sound like a machine or a Digimon. A weird sound. Leader heard that and took off. I'm not sure, but maybe she headed towards the jungle. I see. Well, thanks. Huh, weird sound. That was the most inane conversation I think we've had yet. Patamon, buddy. You, you, heard, you don't know where they went, but you heard a weird sound. And you said leader took off to investigate and you heard a weird sound in the jungle and leader took off to investigate the sound which you just said is in the jungle so why don't you know 
right away that that's where the leader went. Anyway, we need to go to Ether Jungle. Don't breathe the Ether Jungle fumes. I think that was where we fought, we fought someone. We still haven't followed up on uh, <laughs> the collecting the Digimon that we were owed. Suzuku leader went to the catacombs. Leader must be worried about the animals too. Remember this area. Have we been here before? Oh, that's that's not gonna go well for us. When we're doing that little damage, it's time to bring out Kukimon. Oh very well. We might as well use our our big attacks. I should probably just switch out for Kukumon. We're gonna run out of MP if I keep doing that. I'm trying to flee. Yeah, I better not I better just attack normally. You know what? Yeah. It's just gonna be annoying. Well we'll, we'll see. Maybe I was premature. How much damage could he really do? I'm just keeping my eye out. No. <laughs> We're so good at dodging that we didn't even need Kukimon. What could this be? Catacomb. Now that is a that is a cool it's a cool one. I think they did a very good job with that model. Oh that's that's not good. Uh how much damage are we gonna get? No, nope, they're not just not gonna hurt us at all. Magic Missile? What is this, D&D? Who's that? Oh, it's you guys again. Yeah, that's right. Come on, let's fight. You're no match for me. Oh, you're afraid you're gonna lose. What? what That's not true. All right. If you want it, I'll show you. Do we want to be doing this fight right now? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure we're ready for it. It wasn't mentioned in my... my guide. 
I don't, I don't know what to do when I don't have my guide to rely on. You can't just play things and see what happens. That's not how games are played. Well, we won nonetheless. Wh what? I lost. How is that? I'm pretty strong, ain't I? Oh, all right. I'll give you this, so forgive me. What? Rusty Katana? Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to live in peace here. Please, leave me alone. We're just going to keep coming back here and, and shaking him down for Rusty Katanas. It's our protection racket we've got going on. Oh, no, no. You can't go past here. See? Look at that. Whoa, what is that? A security hole. It's like a hole in the net. That must be the reason behind the earthquake. Th that voice is from the gondola. I get it. He's Bulbmon. If I go through this hole, maybe I'll find Amaterasu's server? I told you, you can't go. You don't know what's going to happen. It's too dangerous. As a leader of the South Sector, I'm not going to let anyone get hurt. Oh, come on. I really have to go to the other side. You've heard about the AOA, right? Someone has to go now, or worse things are going to happen. If you put it that way... Oh, all right. But if it's too dangerous, come back, okay? Hey, Suzuku leader, I have a question. Do you know where the emergency chamber in the North Sector is? Are you talking about the emergency matrix chamber? It's located in the basement of Kulon Mine but you need the four leader badges to use it. Four leader badges? I got it, thanks Suzuku leader. All right. Onward we go, through the hole. It beckons. This hole, it was made for me. Oh. Yes. Some excellent new music. Well, I think this will be a good stopping point. Come back next time and explore the bug maze and the ex re experience the intense techno soundtrack. It makes us excited to explore. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll see you next time on Digimon World 3. Goodbye for now.